Hello and welcome to another video on the Red Python channel. Today we'll discuss uh, SSO topic and the difference between the protocols XAML, Open Authentication, and Open ID Connect. So, uh, when devising a plan to keep data and identity secure, usually IT administrators must select a protocol or a framework to deploy to keep federated identity. So they use single sign-on. So what is single sign-on? Actually, single sign-on allows employees to log into the application once on the network without repeating that. Because as per uh, research done by Fortinet, it's like 170 to 200 applications are being used and deployed by companies. So imagine that if employee needs to uh, input the username and password each time they log into an application or need to access an application. While it's certainly convenient for the employees to use single sign-on, it is as well convenient for IT administrators and IT security team to use single sign-on for identity and access management. We have uh, three protocols to choose from because it's not easy. The top two contenders are SAML, which is Security Assertion Markup Language, and uh, Open Authorization or OAuth. So let us take a look on the difference between these protocols and recommend which one to choose. SAML is a protocol that lets an identity provider, which is uh, the place where you manage your usernames transmit a user credential to a service provider service provider is actually the application where your uh, users are logging into so uh, it, it is a protocol that lets an identity provider transmit the credentials to a service provider to both authenticate and authorize. This is the main difference between SAML and OpenAuth. SAML authenticates a user and authorizes the user at the same time. Meanwhile, OpenAuth is only used for authorization purposes. So SAML simplifies password management and enables SSO. So it helps enterprises because employees are, as I said, using more and more applications. Uh, so as you can see here on the screen, the user uh, makes a request to a resource, which is a service provider. Then the service provider uh, redirects the user to a SAML login page and where they input their username and password. Uh, the SAML identity providers communicate with the backend uh, user database and where the users are uh, credentials are stored. And once the verification takes place, the SAML identity provider sends a SAML response to the service provider and the user is authenticated. Meanwhile, uh, from the open uh, authorization perspective, the, the latest protocol is 2.0. It provides secure delegated access and does this by giving access tokens to third party service uh, providers without exposing the user credentials. However, as I said, it only authorizes user and it does not authenticate them. For the authentication purposes, you need to use OpenID Connect or OIDC standard for this purpose. Identity providers or those that create or manage identities use OIDC so users can first sign in with their IDP or identity provider and then access the applications without having to log on and share credentials. So as you can see, it's mainly the same approach used by uh, SAML. Uh, so what's the difference actually? Let's discuss the difference in this slide. So SAML is designed for, authenticated, uh, for authentication and authorization while OpenOS was only built for authorization. So the difference is in the tokens utilization. The envelope of credentials of which users is stored is a token. SAML token is known as a SAML assertion. In OpenAuth, it's known as an access token. So the jargon use is different. Uh, from the flow perspective, when a user logs into a service, uh, as we demonstrated earlier, the first step is user authentication for SAML. Then the service provider makes a SAML authentication request to IDP. 
it redirects the user to a browser to the IDP for the IDP authentication as we've seen earlier. So from the open author, author, authorization perspective of OAuth, the process is exactly the same, except there is no encryption. This is another difference. Uh, there is no encryption of the access tokens uh, and only authorization is granted. So uh, encryption is actually uh, a, another difference because from the OAuth a protocol, it uh, it doesn't have encryption for the tokens and it relies totally on the SSL or TLS uh, security uh, to, uh, to to add the security for the for the communication. So the main difference, as I said, is tokens, flows and encryption. So when to use SAML versus when to use open authentication? Uh, well, uh, it's generally a good choice to use SAML for enterprise application. And it's generally good to use open authentication or authorization for mobile deployment. Uh, you can as well use SAML and OAuth together because as we said, SAML can authenticate and authorize. Meanwhile, open authorization can only authorize users.